Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use set more to set up appointments. Whether you're a dentist, a chiropractor, a beauty salon, you know, a barber, a lecturer, a coach, set more is the right platform for you. So as long as you're selling or rendering any type of services, set more is a great platform for you. So before I get started to showing you how to use set more, you need to go on the description down below, click on the very first link you see. It's going to be the set more link. So once you click on that link, it will lead you into the set more homepage. And then I see you on my PC to walk you through into it. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, guys, here we are on my PC right now. Uh, once you get here into this specific page, if you haven't yet clicked into the set more link, go into my description. The very first link you see is going to be the set more link. And once you click on that, it will lead you into this specific page. So once you, once you are into this specific page, you need to scroll down to the very bottom here, you know, or you can just click here on pricing that you will lead you into the same section. So basically, as you can see here, this specific section uh, is subdivided into three categories. So there's a free premium and pro. If you're doing like free, free consulting sessions or free discovery call or anything that doesn't involve money or transaction i recommend you to go with the free one you know but if you're doing things that once you start transacting you know if you want to benefit from a lot of um, pro feature or a lot of solid features i recommend you to go with the premium or the pro in this specific tutorial we're, we're going to be using the the premium anyway if you want to use the pro then you can also use the pro right and if you're going on the monthly basis, it's going to cost you a little bit more. It's going to be $12. If you're going on a yearly basis, you know, it gets cheaper. So uh, make your call. Go ahead, choose what you want. So uh, I've already got an account with Setmore. So go ahead, choose your plan, right? Basically, you know, click on the premium. Go ahead, sign up, create an account, put your name, email, telephone number, and password. Go ahead and sign up. And then I see here, basically, this is like, you know, this is basically my set my account. So I've already got an account with set more. I've already logged in. You know, this is what I have. Um, and what you need to do here, very first thing you must do is uh, just look at the left hand side here. You have like a dashboard, which is, you know, the dashboard looks like this. Calendar looks like that, right? So, you know, this is my calendar, right? At the moment, I have a consulting session. So um, this is how my calendar looks like. And, you know, when you click down here, for example, this is the area for like customers, right? So I have like a, you know, 14, up, like a recurring class until January, right? Uh, then I have uh, like, you know, this area is for like, you know, the booking page. This is like, you know, this is my booking page, right? I can just click here and visit my booking page. So, you know, basically this is my booking page, right? These are some of the services that I render, you know, um, and here, uh, book a class staff at the moment, I am the only one that I've added, but however, you can add more staff uh, services. These are the services that I have, right? Uh, classes. These are some of the classes photograph. I haven't yet put. So as you can see, you know, this is how my booking page look like. So, you know, the, you know, this is my business hours, uh, monday to sunday right that's you know and these are all my details you know let's go back to our set more scheduling page now we'll just uh, you know these are so for example here where it says apps and integration these are all the apps that set more integrate with you can integrate uh, set more with teleport zoom google meet instagram facebook you know and many more platforms and when you click here on settings, for example, uh, you can add staff. The only person I have right now is myself. That's why it says staff, right? However, you can add more here by just putting the name of the person and the email and just add, right? So essentially, that's how you add staff. Uh, now, uh, once you've added the staff and everything is actually okay, you can now go, go here, for example, to accounts. On accounts here, you have customized account appearance. You know, you have a weekly calendar, daily calendar, and a monthly calendar. So week start, week start day, Monday, uh, custom time slot, I've just put 15, 15 minutes. Uh, what? I can put half an hour, 
60 minutes, that's really up to me. So basically, I'm just going to leave it to 15 minutes because I have discovery call for 15 minutes. Show calendar start. Uh, yes, I'm just going to turn this on. Now, where it says company details, I can enter in this area. Is this, this specific area is mostly assigned for my company details. If you want to add a logo, you can just come here, add a logo, right? Because I don't yet have a logo. You know, that's why I put a laptop there. Uh, your company name is there. Now go to the business hours, for example. The business hours, I've set my business hours uh, to be custom, right? So weekdays, custom. Uh, if I want to have it on weekday or 24 seven, I can just set it up, right? And if I click here on show more, for example, this is how I've customized it because I, I set it to custom. I just want to put my hours, how I work. So it's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. UK time, uh, Monday to Sunday. And this is my timetable, how, look, how it looks right now. But however, if you want to go for like weekdays or 24 seven, you can choose one of these. Uh, yeah. And time zone is British time. Obviously, I live in the UK, so I only put, you know, British time. Uh, booking policies. On the booking policies, appointment lead time, a one hour booking slot, 30 minutes. Scheduling window, you know, cancellation policy is basically two hours, right? People can cancel an appointment two hours before. However, if you want to pull like 24 hours before, it's fine. Or you can, like, you know, if you want to change these settings, go ahead and change it. But I've just put two hours there for, uh, you know, for illustration purpose. So services and classes. Services slash class price. Display the price of services or classes available, right? So, uh, I, so I click on display. Service slash class duration, right? Display the duration of the service or classes available, right? Uh, business hours. Uh, the business hours are here. Uh, yeah, everything is open. Local time, book, another appointment button. Yeah, menu bar. <laughs> Uh, booking flow first available appointment right uh yeah so basically uh custom login require if i don't want this to be required i can just close it right or if i want this to be required i can just leave it as required uh, set more branding uh this area normally you're gonna have a set more branding at the bottom uh show branding show branding on the booking page, right? If you want that, you can just leave this on. If you don't want it, just close it. I call, you know, all these details, read through it and just decide what you want. Not for customers, right? You know, this is a note that I put for my customers. You know, um, thank you for booking with us after you choose and so on. So customize something like that and put here for yourself. Term and condition. You can put your term and condition here. If you do have a URL, please do put the URL of the term and condition there. So once you've done all that, right, is everything will be fine. Now you go here to customization. On customization, the language I use is the English, obviously, because I live in the UK. Uh, turn sub page on off. You know, if I want to book appointments, book class about us stuff. So if you want to turn some of these off, you can just turn it off guys. Time format is 24 hours. You can go ahead with 12 hours, but I like to go with 24 hours. Customizable label, show service as service, right? If you want to show service as something else, you can just type it here, uh, class as class, you know, um, yeah. Okay, awesome. So reviews, if you want people to leave reviews on your booking page, you can allow that. If you want to go more into settings, right? Customer reviews, allow customers to post review. It will be open. If you don't want, it will just be off, right? So let's just visit our booking page, for example, and then I'll show you. So now you can see that customer reviews is off, right? So there's no review here because I've removed it. But if I want to have the reviews, it will just be on. And I will just uh, need to reload my page now. Okay, now you see there's, you know, 
the review page is available there. So, so far we've covered accounts, staff. This, you know, this is the area for staff. Uh, this is my picture. Um, if you want to like a change a picture of your staff, you can change a picture. I like to add my own picture because when somebody books a meeting with me, they can actually see who they're booking a meeting with. And I will recommend you to ask your staff to add their own pictures, it's better. Services, these, these are the services that I cover. Working hours, these are the work, these, these are the working hours. Your staff can actually add the working hour and edit the working hours as well. Breaks, you know, I'm not really bothered because I know what time I'm going to break, but you can add a break for your staff, right? Uh, time off, you can add a time off here if that pleases you, right? So now services. These are some of the services that are offered, but to add services, right, or to create to, to create category, you, you need to, if you have like different type of services based on different categories, you can always go here and add, create a category based on the type of services, based on the type of services, but my services are under one umbrella or, on, or under one category, by the way. So I'll just, if you want to add category, just click on add category. Uh, to add services, just click on add new service, right? And here I'll name my service, right? Facebook pixel installation. I need to put a description of what I do here, how much the service is going to cost. You know, 150 pound is going to be for 60 minutes, right? Buffer time, I'll say, or let's just say 20 minutes, right? Private is off, right? This service will not be visible to customer on your booking page. If I want, if I turn this on, it's going to be private. But if I just, but if I want it to be public, then I'll just leave it like that. Staff will provide the service, right? I need to select the staff. So just click here. The staff, the only staff I have right now is myself, right? However, if, you know, if I had many staffs, I will just go ahead and assign this project to a specific staff for example uh, if you want it now put, you know put like a picture of yours i mean you can put a picture of yourself or maybe the service that you offer there so that's basically a picture of myself i'm the one rendering this specific service and make sure you just click here on save so now as you can see uh i haven't put the description by the way so i have a facebook pixel installation you know it costs 150 pound sterling uh, is for 60 minutes now here on the payments is here on the payment is where things get a bit more excited right it's very important you pay close attention to this bit my preferred payment system is stripe don't get me wrong some people prefer paypal or other people prefer square you can go ahead and choose what you want right so i like to use stripe uh, and i'm using stripe for my service as you can see here stripe has been activated right however if you decide to go ahead with paypal just click on paypal and just click on activate so because i'm already using stripe i won't be able to use two at the same time so what i'm going to do if i want to um you know if i want to use paypal i must first deactivate the one that i've already activated let's just say i want to use stripe right so just click here on stripe and in here, this area is going to be, um, the message is going to be here activate. At the moment, my Stripe account has already been activated. So uh, I'll just click on activate and just go ahead and set up. So just, and before you, you, before you must be able to activate your account with Stripe, you must have a Stripe account, obviously. Uh, you know, it's very easy to set up a Stripe account. So, uh, I've now integrated my Stripe account, right? And let's just go now to the booking page. The booking page here, get paid from your booking page, right? Do you want to accept payments on your booking page? Yes, I want to accept payment. I've switched this on. Step two, if I want to collect the full payment, I can just go ahead and collect the whole payment. That, that would be absolutely fine. Uh, if I want now to add like, a, you know, Things like reduction, 
addition or anything, I can always go here and play on with this area and make sure you save, guys. So uh, assuming you've done this bit, right, you've tackled this area, let's now go to classes. So at the moment, I do have two classes, right? So I have, um, the, I mean, these are the classes that I created in the past. So if I want to add a, like a new class, I'll just click here on add a new class. And then I'll name my class, right? If I want to put like a description, I can put a description for the class. I'll put a course here, the duration. Uh, basically the duration is going to be the time in minutes. Uh, let's say 120 minutes, for example, or let's just say 60 minutes. The number of seats I want, uh, I want 18 people, 18 seats. Uh, is it a private class? If I want this to be private, I can just turn on this. But I want this to be public. Let's just say that. Um, once I've created my class, and I need to add like an image here, right? Right. And I've just added this specific image here, and I need to click here, crop and save. So I've added that image. Now I need to add a session. So click here on add session. Uh, the session, I, I want the session to take place on, from Monday, on, on Monday uh, 9, well, I want that to be at 11, 11.30. Duration is 60 minutes. If I want this session to be repeated, I can just go ahead and uh, select when, when I want the session to be repeated. So if I want this to be repeated weekly, I can just click here on weekly. Uh, on on what maybe Tuesday Wednesday let's just say let's just say Tuesday right uh, Tuesday Wednesday right and uh, every every one week or every two weeks let's just say that uh, ending ending on the twenty fifth for example the twenty fifth of uh, October uh, yeah so awesome so the slots are eighteen slots. And the price, let me just put the price now. I can put the price if I want to, but I don't have to put the price. So I've just put the price here, one, 150, and then I just click here on save changes. So I've added a lesson on, uh, like, you know, these are some of the lessons that I have. I have it on Tuesday and Wednesday, right? So these are the two lessons. So, you know, if I want to, uh, like, copy this URL, right? I've just copied this URL. If I want to send this URL to, by email to all of my clients or if i want to send like send it to whatsapp you know i can just copy this and send it to like you know send it to whatsapp so that's this class has been created i've added my classes right so um let's just click here on notification and see what happens here appointment book edit cancel right so allow cancellation for your booking page and email if i don't want any of these i can just untick it right if I want it, I, so on ticket, if you don't want, uh, if you want it, just tick it. That's basically, that's all you need. So yeah, so make sure you customize this area if you really switch your needs. Now, now if you want to integrate your booking calendar to, to your Google calendar, what you need to do is first of all, I, I'm gonna go to Google here and I'm gonna be looking for calendar. So click here on calendar. And here on calendar, I have many calendars here, by the way, right? So as you can see, I do have many calendars. Uh, first thing first I'm, I must do is uh, go, go back to my website, click on show link, and then I will just copy link, right? So once I've copied the link, I, I, so I need to go here at, at the bottom here and click on add calendar, right? So before I even add this calendar, this is just an example of one calendar that I've added right so i've added my set more calendar this is how it looks this is my set more calendar remember the meeting i have appointment class uh provided who is okay uh, name like the you know the provider is going to be me and i'm going to be providing this class to richards right uh, st status is confirmed so this is basically an appointment that i've already have so let's just say I want to add a calendar to this specific uh, account. So what I would need to do here, I, I need to click on the plus from URL, paste the URL that I've given that, that 
the, you know the URL you've copied there and just click here. Make the calendar public accessible, right? If you want that, you can just click here, yes, or and you know just click here, add calendar, right? So at the moment, this is always okay. Set more calendar, and let's just go back to my calendar, right? So now you can see that I have a Richard calendar here, like Richard appointment. Facebook pixel installation. You no, know, this is just an example that I've set up, by the way. So this is basically how my calendar looks like right now. So that's how you add, that's how you integrate your set more calendar with your Google calendar. So now that you've done it, right, let's just go back to set more again. Let's go to homepage. If you want to add an appointment manually, so let's say someone booked an appointment with you, uh, maybe somebody walked to your office. And then they, you know, they, they, they manually book an appointment with you. And then you want to add it on your calendar so you don't forget. You can just click here, come on the home page here, click here on book appointment, and you just enter the name of the person, right? The service that you want to uh, render. Let's just say consulting, 150 pound. Uh, let's just say 120 minutes right or you can change that to 60 minutes so date time sunday uh if i want this to be when they booked when did they book they say they booked on the 14th right at 10 30 a.m yeah do i want this meeting to be repeat is it a repeat uh yes i want that to be and when do i want it to end i want it to end on november so i want it to end on friday the 26th of november if i want to add a note here i can just add a note and just click here on continue so now if i had a customer i'll just you know search the name of the customer here for example if i want it to be richard you know this is the customer i have here if if i want it to be richard or if i haven't add the customer here so i can just add the customer i'll just say friends right i'll just add that friend if I have the email, I'll just enter the email there, uh, telephone number, office, and all the details, really. Just add that. Uh, it's not mandatory, but what's mandatory is the name. So make sure you add the name and just click here on save. Now I'm going to add set more to my WordPress website. And you know, let's, you know, let's just click here. And this is basically my booking page, right? So I'm so I'm just going to click here on copy. And I'm going to go to my WordPress site. This is my WordPress site, by the way. I'm using uh, Elementor to build my website. And I'm going to click here on the link here. And I'm going to just add my set more link here, right? So I've added my set more link here. And just make sure it's updated. So that's how you add set more to your website. So anyway, you want to allow people to book appointments, uh, just make sure you add that link. So let's just say I want to add a link here as well. I'll just, um, I'll just add the link there. And then I'll just click here on update. So let's visit the website and see how it looks. And if I click here on update, request, request is discovery call. It's going to lead me it's leading me straight away to the sermon page, right? So this is my page. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, that's basically how you use Setmore to set up appointments, add services, classes, you know, integrated with many other tools. Is As you can see, it's very easy. It's very straightforward to follow. You know, if you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. I'll be more than willing to answer your questions. So take care.